Hello, biology students. Today we're going to be talking about a new thing. Macromolecules is our title. And we're still in our theme one or quarter one, but now we're in a brand new topic. We're done with ecology. We're going to be talking about nutrition and molecules. This is our first page in this brand new topic. Mmm, look at all that food. So guess what we'll be talking about? Alrighty, so after you grab this title and the page number and you write down the date you're taking your notes, let's move on to our first heading. Alright, our first heading is, what is a macromolecule, which was the title of the notes. Macro, the prefix in macromolecule, means large. So the whole word macromolecule means a large molecule. So we might have heard that water is a molecule and have heard of other types of things that are these small molecules, but these ones are the macro type, okay? And so that means they have to be very large, lots of atoms, sometimes even hundreds plus of atoms. And each of these different colored circular spheres is a different atom combining to make a large molecule, all right? Macro, if you remember, Sounds like the word micro, and micro means small. Macro means large. Let's keep going and learn more about these macromolecules. Second subheading is going to be um, two. So what is organic? Okay, we might have heard organic food. This is going to be a different type of organic. It's what we call organic in science class. And we're talking specifically about organic compounds. Okay, they're going to have to contain two particular types of atoms. Carbon, especially, and also hydrogen atoms. All the different macromolecules, these large molecules we'll be talking about today, are going to have both carbon and hydrogen, and therefore they are all organic compounds. All right, let's keep going. Third heading, what is a polymer? Okay, so here's another vocab, polymer. It is going to actually be a synonym or mean the same exact thing as the word macromolecule. It means the same thing. But it has this prefix poly, which we might remember from maybe math class, like a polygon. Poly just means many. And polygon would be many sides of a shape. And in this case, this means many units. So if we look at this macromolecule, each unit is one of these almost bead-like structures that you would see maybe on a soccer ball and there's many of those repeating units this is actually called starch but it is an example of a polymer and polymer is the same thing as a macromolecule now so there's many of the units that's why we call it a polymer so there are four types of macromolecules and we're going to go through each of the different types. They are all found in you, your food, and all living things. Remind me one more time what's that equal word to macromolecule or synonym for this big molecule that meant many units. It was a polymer. So we could have equally said the four types of polymers. Let's go through the four types. Ready? They're going to kind of seem familiar because they're going to remind you of mm, food. Let's look. Our first one is carbohydrates. Sometimes Ms. Clausen's just going to be lazy and call these carbs. So these are your breads, your pastas, your rice, right? Carbohydrates, the same exact ones that you would eat before a big game. All right, so that's our first category. This is a type of macromolecule or a polymer. Let's look at our second type of macromolecule. Lipids. You probably heard this be called fats before. These are our oils. Oops, too fast. Our oils, our butters. We don't want tons of this, but actually we need some of it to survive. And we'll talk about why that is in a little bit. So this is our second type, type of macromolecule. Let's look at our third type of macromolecule category. Proteins. This is going to be your animal meat, all right, the muscles from animals and from fish. Some things like eggs and cheese are going to have some fat content, but they're mostly also going to have some protein in them. Lots of great things. What we could have also had on here is some beans and nuts are also really good sources of protein. We'll learn more about the job of these different categories in another day, but this is our third category, protein. Next and last category 
category is nucleic acids. Yes, try saying that. Nucleic acids. What a weird one. All the other three sounded familiar, and this one doesn't. So if I look carefully, one of these structures might look familiar. It's a double helix, and if I look carefully at this diagram, an example of a nucleic acid I might write in the notes would be DNA. Okay? We'll learn way more about this one throughout the year. As long as you know that this is a category, I'm happy now. If you want to be super awesome and write down the example DNA, even better. All right, so a little bit more. So we learned about a word called a polymer that made the same, meant the same thing as a macromolecule. Let's learn about what a monomer is then. What is a monomer? Our fifth section, so a brand new heading in our notes. It is the basic building block of the macromolecule, a monomer, where the prefix mono means one, right? I'm fighting you one on one, mono a mono, one on one. So a prefix mono means one. Mer, still like before, like in polymer, means a unit. So this is one unit. So before we said this whole structure, many units, is a polymer. So if I were to pick out a monomer, it would just be one of the units. So this is the building block. Think about one piece of Legos that builds a big Lego castle. Okay? So all of our big macromolecules, they each have these building blocks. Okay? So to help us, we have one last slide, which is going to have an analogy comparing what monomer and polymer are and how they're related. Okay? Almost there. So here's our analogy. Each car on this train, okay, this is a train, a car would be one of the units. We call one of the units a one unit monomer, while the entire train of many cars would be many units, a polymer, okay? So I would highly recommend you writing down this example because it's going to hopefully help you understand those vocab words. Wonderful job. You got through your first page of notes in this brand new unit on nutrition. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. See you in class.